Mr. Jenkins, there's something you need to see. On my way. Is that what I think it is, sir? Get your men to bring the body. All of it. We need that right now. Three years since we've been looking for you. We have big plans for you, my friend. Ah, Alexander. Welcome back for more. It's good to see you too, Chief. What miss you got for me this time? There were six missing hikers at the Heavy Oak Forest. It's been a week since they weren't found. We need someone like you to find them. I'll do my best. I'll be on my way. Oh, wait. It's mostly a new partner you're bringing with. A partner? Sir, you know I'm fine with fighting on my own. Like, come on. Remember what happened last time I was attacked by two killers? I can handle myself. I can handle fighting very well. I know, but you didn't get a chance to have a partner on everyone else in the department. All right, fine, I'll have a partner. But what's her name? Her name is Isabella Taylor. She's new here. You two will go to the heavy oak forest that is close to the Winsonate Mansion. There will be a chance that the hikers might be close to the mansion. Alexander Scott. It's nice to meet you. Same to you. You're new here, huh? Well, yes. I just like coming here to help around. Well, good, because you have a partner you can look out for. And that is? Yeah, the chief said there were some hikers missing up a heavy oak forest last week. There were six of them. You couldn't find them. So now it's up to us to go look for them. Well, let's get to it.
looks like we found a place. We should find those hikers. Let's get going. So the problem is that there are more disappearances around town this time. How could this be solved? All we know already is that the streets do have security cameras around to make sure that the security will know what's happening. Until one time they allow me to look at the screens. It was led right over here. Follow me. Let's go in. And no drink for you. My name is John Wesker. I'm a crime scene investigator who needs to see the manager of this bar. Just for a talk about his disappearance. That's all. Now, what can I get you? Brown out. Just one. And for you, sir? I'm good, thanks. Okay. So, let's make it this straight. Do you think I was the cause of that attack? It doesn't confirm yet. We're still looking around on where this leads to. Let the blood tracks to your bar for some reason. But it just stops on where the back door is. So I and Michael will just look around the place if it is alright. Here's your drink. Okay. You can look around. But just to let you know, I didn't do anything wrong. I'm just the manager of this bar. I didn't know someone who would do something like this. It happens all the time. We'll just look around just in case. If there's nothing wrong in this place, then you're fine. What do we have here? Michael, come look at this. That's strange. It's like if someone would try to hide the body in a vent that from upstairs was clean but not the one from outside at the back. Do we have to? Oh, stop being a baby. <laughs> My god. Who would do this? Like, no killers would do something like this. Killers don't eat people if they were a cannibal. But it seemed the blood leaks to that. Good one. But what the hell just happened? It seems there is an ugly son of a bitch eating a body while hiding in the sewers. Have we managed to kill it? That's what happens. It's just a zombie. Jeez, I didn't know you would act this way. But look at it. Something seems wrong. Does a zombie have these in it? It looks... Mutated. I know, but the most important thing. How did it get here? I don't know. But could this be the reason for the six missing hikers? That this mutated zombie killed them? If it was, it would let everybody parts around the forest. So it couldn't be this creep. Alright, let's get back up and tell the manager that it was a zombie that ate a person. Oh wait, wait. We can't just leave after that. We still need to know how this happens. How'd the zombie get here if there could be a person who's responsible for this? Let's go this way, if that zombie went there before. Oh shit. Here we go again. That's one huge mansion. Probably the owner might know something about this. Come on.
This is the police. Here to come talk about the missing hikers. gotta find our owner in this mansion somehow. If not, we can just search the mansion for the hikers. We gotta split up though. It makes it easier for us. Alright. a mess. All this filth and other stuff all over the place. It looks like a dump. I wonder if someone's around here. Well, guess I have to keep going. Huh? What's that? <gasps> Son of a bitch. Where the hell's my gun? Oh, forget it. Crap, huh? <laughs> you ain't gonna feel good in the morning for this one. Hey, how about a little bit of this? <laughs> Ooh, that was a close one. I wonder if Isabel and the others are okay. Man, what has ever happened to this place? I don't know. But whatever the case, we need to figure out what's happened to those hikers. As this device is saying they're somewhere around here. Hmm. We should check that door over there. But let's use our weapons to make sure we don't attack anything. Good idea. I'll just make sure everything's all clear. But I'll still use the weapons. Holy shit, this is what happened to those hikers? My god! This is insane! We need to get these guys out of here. Exactly. And we need to be fast. How the hell are we going to stop this creature? I don't know! The weapons we have are almost out of ammo, and we're just going to have to... Wow, that's very impressive. Indeed. But we're too late! We failed to rescue those poor missing hikers! We should try and find this creature and take it down. All right. Let's go. Hmm. This is pretty hard, but it seems like it's going all right. I can feel extreme power within all of this. Huh? 
What the fuck is going on? Hmm. Well, I guess now there's something I'll have to do to get rid of these two trespassers. I guess it's time to have some of my creatures hunt those two bastards down. Jesus Christ, how messy is this lab? What the fuck was that? Whoever the hell you are, don't move a goddamn muscle. Alex, you're still here. Thank God you're okay. Jesus Christ, I don't... What the... Oh, it's you, Isabel. Thought it was a monster or something. Man, that was a close one. I could have got you killed. Oh, it's fine, Alex. A lot of this stuff always happens. I'm glad I got you out fine. Alex, look out! <laughs> Isabel, no! Motherfucker! Man, what have I done? I should have made it on time, but I was too fucking late. Well, well, well. If it isn't someone who managed to get himself all safe, but without his friend. What the hell is going on around here? Who are you? Well then, you pathetic. I will explain myself. My name is Franklin Jenkins, a genius intellectual. I shall say, unlike you, since you couldn't save your poor little friend. You mean Isabel? Where the fuck did you take her? And she better be alive. <laughs> well, you're just gonna have to find out for yourself. I won't even tell you. Besides, you don't even know where exactly I am. Either way, there is no escape. You won't be able to figure it out, after all. All of the exits are now officially gone, with the help of my experiments. But either way, officer, I'll be going, so... Have a good life. That fucking son of a bitch. I'll find you and make sure there's an exit out of here. Ah, God, that's got to hurt. Huh? Where the hell am I? These cabs? If so, I just hope everyone else is alright. That was a close one. I almost got killed. I should go look for Michael and John to see if they're okay.
Damn, how many of these monsters are there? Shit, shit, shit! I gotta get out of it. Oh! Glad to see you made it. Same to you. What really happened here? Did this all happen because of an accident? Maybe not. Something much darker is which to be a reason for how this all started. But wait, how do you get here, Ethabella? Were you even down here alone? Uh not exactly. <laughs> I don't know what the heck did he come for. Well, we didn't have anything to kill that thing. Just shut up. We're almost there. Get ready. What? Holy shit. I hope so. We need to get out of here. Now. Hey, it's okay. I won't hurt you, I promise. Do you need help? Here, take my hand. 
You're not one of those monsters? Uh, no, I'm not. It's okay. I'm not a monster. My name is Alexander. What's yours? Addison. Okay, Addison, you can take my hand, and we can get out of here. All right? So tell me, how'd you get down here? Where are your parents? They're no longer here. What do you mean? They're monsters now. I'm sorry, Addison. Look, you're not alone. I'm here to protect you. I won't let any monster hurt you. Let's get going. Stay behind me. Run! What is that thing? I don't know, but it didn't like us. Come on! So, what were your mom and dad like? My mom is a doctor who helps people that need help. And my dad is a scientist who works here in this facility. My dad never tells me the whole reason for this place and why he works here. He has always been a good dad who helps along with us. What happened to them? A bad man named Franklin takes my dad somewhere into a room. He wants us to watch a show on dad getting inject by something and turn into a monster then the nightmare started everyone I saw around here is gone what happened to your mom she was attacked by my dad but that wasn't like him it's like something is controlling him then that's the last time I see them <laughs> hey 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 it's okay it's okay We'll get out of here. I promise. Ah, the daughter of Mason. How nice to see you alive, Addison. But don't worry. You'll be joining your family very soon.
I'm sorry about this, Addison. She was a good mother. I, I couldn't let her suffer like this. Now it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, Mom. Hey, look what I just found. Does it have to show the reason for how this all started? I'm not sure. Then play it. Stay where you are, Dr. Williams. You're not going anywhere with those viruses. They belong to Mr. Jacobs. You really think I would hand this back to you? This is how far I would go. I will never hand anything over to you. Anything! We have orders to take Dr. Williams. Well, 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 Dr. Williams. Trying to steal my research. How funny that you escaped from this facility and now spread the truth. You're so wrong, Mason. Dead wrong. Take him to the testing room. We'll make sure he suffers for his betrayal. Yes, sir. Now, now, Mason. This is just a small experiment. Everything will be over for you soon. But you're not by yourself, of course. We've invited you a Lovely family to watch the show. Don't you dare lay a finger on my family, you monster! Monster? I'm the monster? Is that right, folks? You see that, Mason? They don't think I'm the monster. The monster is you. Come. Let's watch the magic happen. Holy shit. So, all of this was started by a mad scientist. You mean that Dr. Williams betrayed the company to stop from this happening until he is ingested by another scientist who could be Dr. Jenkins? Then hours later, the infection spreads into Dr. Williams' body, turns into a monster, and starts an outbreak just for a damn virus being made. Warning. The self-destruct is activated. The facility will be blown to bits. All employees receive into the train station in the lower level. The time will not go long. You've got to be kidding me! We must get to this train station. Come on! I'm so glad to have our heroes made it this far. You should lower your weapon. So it was you who was on that speaker, huh? Correct. I was very surprised to have someone explore my mansion, trying to interrupt my plans. I was sending many creatures to hunt you all down, but you may be wondering what happened to Isabella. Well, <laughs> let me tell you, 
she's with two friends who are getting chased by another spawn. A great, powerful beast. But, <laughs> he's not my favorite. No, no, not at all. There's something else I'm working on. Something bigger. What reason for you to do this? Why? <laughs> Why? Oh, this is because this world is filth. With these humans who had never seen true glory of life. That all happened thousands of years ago with a giant creature crashing down on this planet. It was planned to corrupt this planet with its involving creatures, but it soon failed when another creature appeared. This one is a guardian, and it destroys it. But some of its species survived and disguised itself as humans. With that monster years ago who attacked your town, it was close to becoming the next abomination, so he could finish on what the other one could not. But it had to ruin everything, and his child killed him. I plan on experimenting with what's left of it and making a virus. I will soon control it and spread it through the entire world. <laughs> it will be beautiful. You're sick. Am I? No, 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 no. You got it all wrong. Come, I want to show you something. My next step. God. I introduce to you the powerful life form Titan. <laughs> Doctor, you're sick of these. Officer, you would never understand the true basics of life. It's beautiful. What the? Come on, you ugly freak. Let's see what you're made of. Addison, I don't know, but one thing is, forever as long as this thing is down, this place will burn to the ground. There's some way. Warning. The self-destruct is activated. The facility will be blown to bits. All employees receive into the train station in the lower level. The time will not go long. Well, never mind then. Let's get going. Uh, what the heck? Get out of here.
get it. Finally, we escaped. Yeah, but we didn't save those people. I know. We tried, but there's nothing we can do to stop it. Now, once we get out, I need a drink. The hell? How's that impossible? Don't know, but don't care. Of course I made it. I wouldn't leave you here alone. Look! Closer to it. I need a clear shot. Sure thing. Good work, officer. You did something better. Ah, <sighs> thanks. Is something wrong? Isabel. She makes it out alive. Alex, are you there? Isabel, you're alive? You make it out? Of course I can. I made it out with the others. How about you? Just taking a helicopter to fly by. 
You sure made a good team, huh? Sure did. Sure did. Alexander. Oh, it's nice to see you too. So, uh, how's your day going? It's been a while. Well, <laughs> that's how it's going. I see. I was about to let you go. Knowing that I'm not a monster, 
Like him? Nah, you're not. Thank mm -hmm. you.